Hey kittens, Silver here with Fluffy, my Douglas Pomeranian, and today I have a new package. Um, and it was kind of fitting that I brought Fluffy out because uh, this particular package contains another Douglas plushie. Um, and this one is not a cat, uh, as opposed to what you're probably expecting, uh, but another Douglas dog that I just uh, couldn't pass up when I happened to see it online. Um, on eBay, to be exact, as you could tell from the box. Um, this particular dog was, I think, retired in maybe it was 2015, I want to say. Um, and I'd always been kind of drawn to this particular one, but um, unfortunately it was one of the kind of harder ones to find, I think, just because it had a pretty short production run. Um, so I will get right to it, and Fluffy will be here to spectate. Um, and I've already opened the, uh, I've ripped open the tape just to spare you all the, the tedium of watching me struggle to open it. So let's see what we have here. Ooh. So this is going to be a standing plush. And as you might be able to tell, um, you Douglas enthusiasts, this is going to be Umbra, who is the Keyshawn puppy. It's actually, oh, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be, too. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at him or her. I don't know, what do you think? Is Umbra more of a male or female name? I'm not sure. Ooh. I'm actually pretty surprised at the, uh, at the size of this particular plush. I really thought it was going to be kind of like tiny. Um, let me just put this down just a second so that I can open it better. Okay. Now this wasn't a brand new plush or anything, um, but that was okay with me just because uh, this particular dog doesn't come around too often. And I figured I could always give him a wash if he needs it. So let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look how cute the face is. Oh, look at him. Wow, he's actually really uh, a really good size. I was not expecting him to be um, quite as big as he actually turned out to be. Oh, but he still looks like he's in really good condition. I was a little worried at first because in the, in the pictures it looked like he had a little scuff on his nose, but it must have just been a little little white mark that rubbed right off because uh yeah the seller actually got back to me and kind of showed me and oh he's perfect though I mean I'm gonna brush him up a little bit just so his fur is looking um nice and uh, not quite so unkempt he, but he was in that little shrink wrapped plastic as well but hey, let me just yeah I mean look at the size it's actually it's a good sized dog which probably um well, I guess it's kind of fitting. I mean, not that uh, Keyshawn dogs are, are huge, but, you know, they're they're a pretty sizable uh, dog breed uh, from what I was seeing. Um, but, wow, I really love the uh, just the different um, the different texture to his fur. It's a little bit like, um, well, no, actually, I would say it's smoother than, like, Furbo Fox's fur. Uh, if For those of you who have uh, the Douglas Furbo Fox. Um, so yeah, it's definitely softer than that. Uh, I would say Fluffy's is, a, is yeah, Fluffy's is more of a, like a ultra soft plush. Um, this one is still very soft too, just a little bit of a different feel to it. But um, I love just like the varied colors in his uh, in his fur, just like a real Keyshawn. Um, he's got like sort of the the sort of very dark gray, almost black, uh, tipped in white. It's really kind of like a mixture of the of the two colors, um, but I, I really, really love the coloring. And he's got this cute little curly tail right here, as you can see, which again, I'll probably uh, give it a little brush. And the tail is actually, uh, the tip of the tail is sewn into the body, I guess, to sort of retain that curly shape. <laughs> yeah, his hair is a little bit all over the place, but that face, though such a unique uh dog i mean you, i don't know if there are any other um like official plushies of of Keyshawn puppies I, I looked a little bit on google but i hadn't seen any so 
I'm really, really happy that I scored this guy. Um, yeah, even though I'm not uh, typically much of a canine collector, I've kind of been uh, sort of veering more into that territory lately for whatever reason. Um, maybe I've sort of exhausted the, uh, you know, most of the cat breeds at this point. Um, but yeah, this guy is really, really beautiful. And he's got uh, plastic eyes. They're sort of a dark black. It uh, looks just like a uniform black to me. I don't really see any other, uh, yeah, I don't really see any other coloring in there. And a black plastic nose. And the snout is super soft. That, oh, that material feels so nice. And the same sort of material is used uh, on the ends of his feet. Or his little paws, which, which you can see are in white. But wow, he's even uh, he's even better than expected. I you know when I saw it was a used plush, I thought it was going to be, you know maybe a little rough. But uh, no, other than a brushing, I mean he's he's a pr pretty much in perfect condition. Um, let's see, he has a tush tag, not a hang tag, but tush tag is still intact. So you can see there, Douglas the cuddle toy, and that's that. So yeah, that's that's Umbra. Um, really, really happy to have gotten this guy. Uh, I did not expect to find him. It was just, it was just sort of a, a very random sighting. Um, a little bit of an impulse buy, but, uh, <laughs> I think it was a, it was a good impulse. I'm really happy to have him. And now Fluffy has a friend too. So that just works out on all fronts. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing Umbra, and I will see you next time with some more plush goodness. Bye, everybody.